Well, hello and welcome back. Wanted to talk to you tonight a little bit more about Next War Career, uh, the India Pakistan module. We're deep in the guts of turn two. We've done the, what's it called? The initiative movement and combat phase, which is the time where the dude that has initiative, which in this case is the uh, allied forces, the Republic of India and Americans and Russians, uh, given a move, a combat, and then the enemy gets a, 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 an elite reaction move, for which really only the Chinese can move their units, since they have the highest, the higher, have a high enough effectiveness rating. Then we get to do exploitation movement and exploit combat. And interestingly, with exploit combat, you, you suffer some negative, uh, some negative penalties here, and uh, it, 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 it's painful. You get a two-column shift to the left. And then after that, there's a reaction movement for everybody else to move. So I have not moved uh, chaps yet. Um, we've, got to, we've got to move these guys. Now, once again in this turn, we went very heavy on the air war and uh, the results were pretty disastrous for the, the Pakis and the, the Chai Coms. We put uh, about a dozen units in uh, abort mode. We reduced some units, there's some reduced units there. That's the dead pile, uh, the green dead pile is the, Japan, uh, the uh, Pakistani dead pile. And the results from so the, so the air war was pretty pretty aggressive. Uh, the U.S. didn't suffer too many aborts. There's a handful there, two of which didn't recover from last turn, and one or two step losses here and there, but nothing really significant. And playing the air war, there is a little bit of strategy to it because you've got this uh, concept of this AWAX advantage, uh, which goes up to goes up to four, right? Which would mean out of four, I get to choose the first four attacks and my enemy gets to choose one attack and then I choose four attacks and then he chooses one and that and you're placing your units down to work out who's going to fly against who. So you can uh, certainly do some optimizing and in that there's some strategy and some tactics because uh, I went at it from the perspective that uh, first of all I wanted to protect my forces wanted to protect those forces uh, and, and keep them from being uh, beaten up by the, the J-23s and 37s. I think they are. Are they 37s? No, oh, I can't remember what they are now. But they're, they're stealth. Uh, stealth units are pretty pretty good. Got this. Um, here we go. Here's a J-20, not a 23. So you can see five, uh, five with a long range attack and then uh, stay, he'll have a standoff attack as well and then a dogfight and uh, a zero rated so he's not going to get any pilot penalties pretty pretty tough guys to, to fight against and so I wanted to try and protect my air a little bit and I think perhaps I should have been a little bit more aggressive but we'll, we'll do that next turn and we'll see how that plays out so that's part of the, the tactics and, and, uh, of the game is working out who you want to attack and my theory was that I'll put high quality units against weaker units and try and knock out a lot of the uh, enemy aircraft in total so that there's you know a, a more focused amount of units and I can just drill down then on the PRC Air Force and, and cherry pick at them number one and try and double team them for instance and then uh, that would also then free up more units to do ground strikes and things like that so that we can really just pepper the field it is entirely possible with uh, cruise missiles and scuds to knock out an entire division which is pretty freaking awesome to go to to get to anyway in the combat phase uh you can see the dead pile there we lost one see that or not come on focus for me yeah anyway that little dude there that's the only step we've lost I think or maybe two steps <clears throat> on the on the uh, allied side and the dead pile is pretty high uh, just as I figured once the 
the first term wasn't as the progression uh, into the map, into the, the, the battle zone wasn't really as fast as I wanted it to be. But we did manage to soften up enough units that when we did get into our next round of combat, uh, which we just had, we blew away everything in Lahore, took out the uh, units and headquarters in the area behind it, and then managed to exploit, move, and all the rest of it all the way up into here to reconnect with the... Soviet airborne forces that were out of supply. These guys were out of supply. These guys rolled for emergency supply. Uh, our 82nd airborne here, I think it is, is uh, under a two strike counter. And uh, they managed to get supplied, whereas the other guys are out of supply as well. And so I've also breached in here and uh, and connected with the, connected with the 82nd to give them some support, or the 101st, I should say. Anyway, so that, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, very, very interesting. We we rolled up a lot of the uh, special forces missions to try and search out and do, and also did electronic detection uh, on the hidden nuclear weapons. I realized that there was no way in five or six turns we were going to be able to find the 18 items that we needed to find. And so I went through and detected as many as I could. Those that are sitting up uh, like this are low value targets and those that are sitting like this are high value targets and I decided I had to actually look at the values of the units I wasn't going to and kind of keep it all a bit of a mystery but otherwise you're kind of you're kind of lunging around for no reason so now uh, because the the fact that there's two uh, or three units up this way that I, I care about I'm going to be pushing in this direction pretty aggressively and I really am not well positioned to do that to try and capture those so I'm going to have to clear these hexes and drive this way and this way and start bringing some of these forces up and and penetrating up here we need to capture that one and unfortunately of course Islamabad has uh, has a unit that we need to ca capture but we're not going to get that either so I'm not sure how we'll handle all that anyway I wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on and we'll talk to you guys soon. Next phase will be second strike phase and uh, then the second supply phase. So that'll put everybody back in supply. All right, later.